Okay, some of the other issues here. Um, uh, well, this is not necessarily adversarial. This is you working against yourself in a way. The um, and and particularly in regard to uh, uh, wireless communication. Um, now we've got. We've got radio frequencies everywhere. Everything is is broadcasting uh, radio frequencies. Um, uh, you know, any anything that's electronic actually is is broadcasting uh, radio frequency noise. Um, particularly anything with uh, electric motors in it. Um, and this, by the way, uh, gain is is something we need to. Uh, consider, um, I believe I talked about it in physical security that um, heavy duty electric motors uh, have to be separated from the power supply that you're feeding to delicate electronic equipment that needs very consistent, very stable power supplies. So, um, anyways, we, you know, in, in terms of radio frequency, uh, there's all kinds of accidental generation of radio frequency, but there's also all the things that we deliberately use for radio frequency. There are cell phones. There are, um, you know, our, our wireless LANs. Um, there are toys that are radio controlled. Um, there are microwave ovens that are, you know, broadcasting microwave radiation. Um, and if they, if they leak, um, or if you're, uh, you know, trying to transmit near them, um, you're going to get interference. So we need to to manage that. And in, I mean, everybody is doing wireless networking these days. You know, you get internet to your home or to your office. The telecommunications company comes and puts it in and puts in a wireless router, and then nobody has to worry about wires. Everybody just, you know, picks up the signal. Well. Of course, everybody can pick up the signal. And you, um, despite the fact that uh, we, we do have uh, some cryptographic protection, and, and we will go into that at a later date, um, the, you, you don't want to broadcast your local area network um, possibly beyond the walls of your office. So, you know, plan where you are sighting, the wireless access point. Um, make sure that it does reach all the areas that you want to cover inside your office, but, you know, make sure that it's not too close to an outside wall so that half of your uh, uh, LAN is, is broadcasting outside the building. Um, now, I mean, uh, for one thing, it's wasteful. For another... It's, you know, allowing somebody access to your network. And, you know, maybe they are trying to find out your secrets and, and fighting with your cryptographic protections. Maybe they just want to connect to the Internet. But they're still using your Internet connection there, you know. Um, so you, you have to think about a number of these aspects in terms of managing... The, the radio frequency because we are using it so extensively. Um, we've, you know, not just cell phones, we've got portable phones that are broadcasting on frequencies. Um, we, uh, as I say, electronic things. I, I think I mentioned that, uh, um, you know, draping uh, twisted pair of cabling over uh, fluorescent light fixtures is, is not really good because, of course, you've got, um, you know, a big essentially a huge arc gap uh, there, which is, you know, broadcasting uh, electromagnetic radiation, most of it in terms of light, but also in terms of radio frequencies. And so, you know, that's, that's going to interfere even with your wired connections. You know, your, your wiring is going to pick up that noise, and that's going to mean that your, your wired network connections are also noisy. So, you know, it just there. There are a number of these um, aspects, a number of these factors that we need to consider in terms of radio frequency management. 
where do we cite the access points? How, you know, strong do you make your signal? Strong enough to use within your office? Um, oh, and by the way, where's the break room, which has a microwave oven in it, right? You know, is, is that right next to your wireless access point? So that, you know, a, a whole um, wedge of the office is not going to get good connection to your office local area network. Um, you, you know, all kinds of, of considerations uh, in this regard. Um, so, uh, the different devices, different electronic devices, different sources of uh, radio frequency interference, um, the sighting uh, of uh, both uh, where you know the access points are transmitting from and, and where the devices that you are using in the office are, are you know going to want to be sighted. Um, yeah, I you know it, this goes along with um, the the spread spectrum stuff that we've talked about, um, and you know you may have to pay attention to uh, what what frequency you are using, what frequency a neighboring office is using. Um, uh, there are generally speaking a, a range of different frequencies, and and you can select. Um, channels as to you know which channel your your wi-fi is using so that you know it's best to select uh an area and a frequency where other people aren't already um using that space so you know give yourself a a clear patch um so that you get uh the best uh transmission effectiveness uh that you can out of the situation um, yeah, uh, it's, you know, all kinds of, of practical things that we have to consider in terms of security as well, because, of course, we're not just dealing with confidentiality or, although, as I say, you know, being a eavesdrop on your network may be an issue, but, you know, the availability as well. Is this going to work? Um, can we rely on this communication? And, of course, you know, it's going to fail just when you need it most. If you allow for any possibility of failure. <laughs>